tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come into my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Yes. Thank you. For I'm a man under authority and having soldiers under me, and I say to this man, Go, and he goes, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. And Jesus heard it and marveled and said to them, Call, Verily I say to you, I have not found so great a faith, no, not in Israel. He had Peter that walked on water with him. And he says, I have not found a faith like this in all of it. Why? Because this faith understood the why and the principles Thank you, Lord. of the authority of yes. Jesus Christ. And he had all the faith in that authority yes. of Jesus Christ. Not just, well, this is a, some great prophet or some great man that's doing miracles, but he understood that you have authority over all this sickness yes over all this disease. Yay. I understand the authority and, and if you speak the word and this servant to go, he's got to go. And you tell this servant to come, that servant's going to immediately come. And I understand this authority that when you speak to, to this palsy, yes. the palsy to go, the palsy's got to go. Amen. 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 Jesus. I come with a message of faith, but not in a way of beating us over the head, but in a way to encourage us tonight. Amen. Now there's a story in the book of Acts where Paul is shipwrecked. Yes. But before he gets to that point, God gives him a word that they're going to be shipwrecked. And he gives him a word of the storm and everything that's going to happen. And so Paul lays out what they're to do and everything. And so some go on boards. Some had big boards. Some had just small little pieces and just hung and, and clothed. And some had to swim. And in our walk with God, we'll see people with great faith. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like they're always swimming. They don't seem like they got to cling to anything. They're just, they're doing great. You're like, man, I wish I had faith like that. Yes. You'll see others and they have these big boards and they just seem to be doing great. Yes. And you just seem to be clinging on and holding to what little tiny bit of faith you got left and you're just holding on. Hallelujah, holding on to you, making the shore. <laughs> and so I don't come tonight with any message of condemnation about anyone's faith because I understand how God gives us a measure of faith. That's right. And we're to build on that. Yes. But what I do come is to encourage each and every one of us to pick up our shield of faith. Amen. To, to, to begin to uh, speak words of faith. Hallelujah. Because we're coming in a day now. Hallelujah. Where the enemy was throwing fiery darts, but hallelujah, he's, he's stepping it up. Praise God. He's stepping it up. He, he's got people working for him all across this country and all across this world yeah. working for him, doing his business, some oh, in church and some in the world. But there's people everywhere doing his business, praise God, increasing the amount of fiery darts that's going to be thrown at the saints of God. Yes. Right. Amen. And, and so I want to encourage each and every one tonight, hallelujah, that, that you'll pick up your shield of faith. Yes. And believe God like you've Amen. never believed him before. Because I want Thank you to God. know your faith, hallelujah, whatever small measure it might be, praise God, hallelujah, and it's got you here thus far, praise God. Yes. That measure of faith, uh, God has used that in your life, yes. and he's, he's let you survive and get to where you praise are God. today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord for Sister Sheila's testimony. Amen. Yes gave bill money because God dealt with her heart to do that. And then God blessed her abundantly and miraculously. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She sowed in faith. Hallelujah. Yes. 
yes, praise God. I really believe we as saints of God, if we would grow in our knowledge of the authority of Jesus Christ, and yes. we would grow in our faith in the authority praise God. of Jesus Christ. There's one scripture that says we not only must believe, but, but we, 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 we must know that, you know, that, that God's willing, basically. It says that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. And so we don't only believe that he is, but that he is a rewarder. And so in other words, I, I don't only believe that God is Jehovah Jireh, the God that provided for me. Not only that he is, yes. but that he will. Amen. Amen. And Amen. that's two different things. Mm -hmm. You can bring someone in a prayer line sometimes. That, do, do you believe, brother? Do you believe, sister, that God is going to touch you tonight? And many times they'll believe, say, I believe, I know that God's able to. Mm -hmm. Have we been guilty of that? We yes. got silent. We've been guilty yes. of that. I, I know God's able, oh, brother. Yes, Lord, yes. I know God's able. Yes. The Bible says if you would give your child some bread, what would you think? God would give you a stone? Amen. No, it says God is a much more loving right. Father Amen. than Amen. we are. <laughs> and so we not only, but the Bible says we not only got to believe that He is, I believe He yes. is. I believe he is the Almighty. I believe he is uh, Jehovah, the God that provideth, yeah, the God, God, the God that giveth, the God that healeth all our diseases. I, I believe by his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. But hallelujah, it's not enough that I believe that he is, but I gotta believe that he will. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To understand his authority. something here I wrote down a while back it's been years ago but it says there's something I've seen somewhere but it says we sow faith in the void of necessity we have a need and a total lack we, we sow faith in the void of necessity and we reap in fulfillment and provision, faith is precious seed. Yes. Precious. Hallelujah. Praise God. I can go out here over a ground with no seed, and I can watch it for three years straight. If no seed has ever been planted or never gets planted in that ground, I'm not. I can watch it till I die yeah. and never see nothing happen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Are there church people in the church world that's just been sitting and watching where no seed is planted and wondering why nothing happens? Praise God. We've got a sowing faith, even though it's a void, Praise even God. though it's a total necessity. Hallelujah. We've got to sow in faith and say, God, I don't see nothing. But God, I yes. know that you are all. Is. And so I and hey, knowing you're a good God. Yes. Praise God. He yes, will bless Lord. that seed because he's the one yes. that gives the increase. Yes, Jesus. Hebrews chapter 11.
nothing, mm-hmm. that nothing's going on, have faith. Amen. 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 Faith, Amen. substance of things hurt for the evidence of things not seen. For it, by it, the elders obtained a good report. Jump it down to the sixth verse. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Okay, now we're getting to the scripture I got to a little earlier. For without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Now we've got to diligently seek him. I don't yes. want to leave that out. Yes. But when we do that, he's a rewarder of it. Yes. Yeah. And we've got to believe it. Amen. The Bible says it, it says it in many scriptures that, that, that what, what whatsoever a man soweth, the same shall he reap. So when we begin to sow faith, God is going to bless us abundantly. It says, press down without yes. measure, praise God. It says, God wants to open up a window of heaven and pour out a blessing that we praise cannot God. contain, Woo! praise Thank God. You. But without Thank faith, Come on, amen. it's impossible to please God. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God's got a heart of gold. You might think of certain people in your life that helped you when no one else would. You might think of people that, that just seem to be nice when everyone was mean, praise God, and talk about them that like they had a heart of gold, praise God. But 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 all men have sinned and fall short of the glory, praise God. But there's one who never did. There's Amen. one who gave his life Amen. on Calvary that had a true heart of gold, praise God. And he loves each and every one. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Like I said, I didn't come here to beat no one over the head because I believe faith got us here. Yes. Amen. Faith got us here tonight, praise yes. God. Got us here thus far, praise Amen. God. Amen. The enemy would have destroyed every one of us. The Bible says, or it is talking to Peter, he said he wants to sift you as wheat. And I Amen. believe that's the same for the church today like no other day. He wants to tear you in so many pieces. Nobody would ever recognize you ever as ever being a saint of God. He wants to tell you in so many pieces that there'll be nothing left to recognize a saint of God or a Christian in you. Praise God. Have you known people that were in church and the devil got a hold of them and now you don't recognize it as being godly about them whatsoever because the enemy came in and shifted them like wheat. He desires the same thing for you, your entire life, but God got you in a spot, and your faith that you held on to got you in a spot, but you can increase in your faith. Thank Amen. You. Thank, you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yay, hallelujah. That's word. Amen. Thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians, it says we walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. That's right. But we're a natural kind of people that want to see it first. Yes. Mother God really touched me. Yeah, I didn't see it. I'd like to see it. Man, I seen this miracle. I wasn't there. I would like to see that. <laughs> yes. Ain't that, ain't that our flesh? Yes. I want to see it. Walk by faith, not by sight. Yes. I want to see him get saved. Yes. Yeah, I'd like to see that day. <laughs> we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes. She, she's going to get saved, sister. I'm praying for her. Yeah, you don't know her like I do. I'd like to see the day she comes to that church door. <laughs> for too long. For way too long, we've been walking by sight. Uh For way too long, we've been looking for what visually looks good, what pleases the flesh. For way too long, we've spent, and the night is spent, the day is at hand, the Bible says. We've had our time in the flesh. It's 
time to start believing God. It's time to lift up our shield of faith. Above all, lift up your shield of faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got things to do. I got people to see. Above all, lift up your shield of faith. I plan to. One of these days, man, I'm going to start believing. Above all, lift up your shield of faith. Put it above everything you got to do tomorrow and lift up your shield of faith and start speaking the word of God. Yes. I got loved ones, man. It seems like the enemy's got a grasp on them. But above all, I'm going to lift up my shield of faith. Amen. Thank and I'm going to believe God to send someone, Amen. someone that can speak a word with the anointing of God and Amen. penetrate their hearts and draw them in. Hallelujah. Praise that they'll God. repent and be saved. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Walk by faith and not by sight. Romans. I think I got chapter one written down here. In seven, verse 17, it says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed. From faith to faith, as is written, the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. When I was a 20 some year old man, I felt like I provided for my family. You know? Whatever happens, I could work somewhere and I'll provide for my family. Now I've got arthritis in both knees, <laughs> bursitis in the hips. I say thank you, God. Yes. That I can still go to work. Yes. Because you provide for my family. Amen. It's God that provides for us. Mm -hmm. The Bible says man don't live by bread alone, but we live by what proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. God can Amen. speak it today and I can Thanks be gone. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise yes. God. Yes. I can have a million things wrong with me and God can speak life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise Amen. God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When we don't live by bread alone, the bread of this world, but we live by what proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Born, and I told this testimony before, but born as a baby, having problems, making blood, thought I was going to meet all kinds of transfusion. You know, the enemy wanted to kill me as a child. They prayed once, one trans transfusion, then no more trans blood transfusion. Never had one since. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. I remember when Elisha was just a baby, they were insisting in an aggressive way that I take Christy home, and I said, I, she's contractions are less than three minutes apart or two minutes apart. How could I take her home? How would I know when to bring her back? That's as close as you can get. No. Yeah. So, no, I, I, I can't help you. You're going to take her home. So I stood my ground. So I just felt it in here. I said, No, I'm not taking her. Well, I'll put the doctor. I said, Please, I'll take her home. I'm not taking her home. <laughs> so, no, I'm not taking her home. I'm not taking her home. I'll be right here. Don't take her home. Okay. Praise the Lord. So I'm watching this monitor. The baby's heart rate's going from 120, 130, and it's dropping down to 115, 100, 90, 80, 70. And they come in and they rush Christy off. It was down to like 40, and he was dying inside of her. Yeah. Oh, geez. And so they rush her off into the emergency room, or, you know, the operating room. I just get down on my knees crying, and I'm praying to God. comes out almost with perfect health. She comes out, she's fine. <laughs> but that nurse, that same nurse assistant, she was humble enough to come back and mention, she said, if you were to take her home, you would have lost them both. Oh, yes. the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We don't live by bread alone. We that's don't, right. That's, that's not why we live. You're not alive because of things that you do. I mean, that's there's right. things we got to do to stay healthy. And God expects us to walk in wisdom. It says many times in the Bible, <laughs> Proverbs begs you to take wisdom and walk in wisdom. Praise God. 
And, and so there's things we should do to, to try to be healthy. But, but the reason I'm alive today is because I proceeded out of the mouth of God. The reason my oldest son is alive today is because it proceeded out of the mouth of God. He shall live. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. We are alive because it proceeds out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. The enemy will threaten our life many times throughout our life. He'll, he'll threaten everything, our soul, everything he can take. Praise God. He went after Job with everything he had. Oh, praise God. But God said, no, I won't let you take this off. Oh, hallelujah. And Job survived because it did not proceed out of the mouth of God to take Job up out of this world. Praise God. The enemy will fight us with everything he's got. But we can lift up our faith and say, no, as long as it proceeds out of the mouth of God, you can send a fire, I walk through it. You can send a flood, God will raise me above it, or he'll split it to the middle. But I will not die lest it proceed out of the mouth of God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But we go faith to faith. Start out, we, the Bible says, Jesus is speaking, he says, if you just have faith of a grain of a mustard seed, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get some mustard seeds one of these times, put them in the freezer just to illustrate. But from what I hear, it's super, super small. It's yeah. super, it, it, I imagine it's smaller than a cucumber seed or anything yes, like that. Smaller. Way smaller. He says, if you just have that much faith, Praise God. We yes, just have Lord. that much faith. Yep. We just take that much belief and say, I know God will do it. Not just that he can and he's able. We all know that. Praise if there is God. a God, then he's able. If there is a God that created everything that is, of course he's able. We all yes. know that. Amen. He's able. Praise God. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Even the devils know when they tremble. Hallelujah. Who God is. Praise your holy name. But praise God. We've got to not just believe who he is, Amen. but that he is a rewarder Amen. of those who diligently seek him. We've got to believe Thank that he's with us. Yes. Hallelujah. That's where the enemy fights us the most. That's Hallelujah. where the whole battle between this ear and this ear happens. And my goodness, is it a battle? It's a battle like you've never seen yes. going on from this ear to this ear. And the enemy's saying that, 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 yeah, he's able, but you remember when you sinned way back when, and he might not be willing, praise God. And that's what we all go through, praise God, is the enemy convincing us Amen. that God's not willing to heal. That's mm -hmm. right, brother. The enemy convinces us that God's not willing to bless us. Yes. The enemy convinces us that God's not willing to change our situation. Praise but I'm here tonight to tell you that God is willing. That God is willing. Hallelujah. Yeah, we just need to pick God. up our shield of faith. God yes. is willing. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's proven over and over in the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Man surrounded, praise God, by enemies all around him. Prophets, not words. Thank you, Jesus. The man believes God is able. The prophet believes God is willing. And so the man says, we're surrounded. I don't know what's going to happen. And the prophet's trying to convince him that God will take care of us. He'll take us through this. Yes. And the man, he, he says, oh, we, we've got to, I don't know, we've got to do something. Mm -hmm. God opened his eyes. Mm -hmm. The Lord opened his eyes and let him see. Thank you, Jesus. So God opens the man's eyes. Angels Praise and God. all around him. Oh, hallelujah. And they just walked out in safety. Hallelujah. I believe right in the hand of God. They just glided right on out of there. Thank praise you, God. Jesus. Daniel, Thank hallelujah. You, oh, praise God. And I, I've just seen things lately that just remind me of Daniel. Praise God. I hear people saying, well, you ain't got to pray in public or you ain't got to be public about your faith and all this. And it reminded me of Daniel. Yes. Praise God. Yes. You don't have to pray in public, Daniel. You can go hide in your house, yes. and you you don't have to pray in public. Close your No, I'm going to open my shutters. I'm going to open Love my it. shutters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I Love believe it. that was a yes. rebellious spirit, but I believe that was a spirit of being to God and saying, I serve one God, and that's the yes. only God yes. I serve. Praise I found a little Lord. man, Lord. but only the God. Lord. And so he, hallelujah, he begins to pray to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they begin 
to take hold of him. And they put him down in a den, and not just any den of lions, but a den of hungry lions. Yeah. Praise God. Uh -huh. And it's that lion's nature, God-given nature, praise God. God-given instinct, praise God, to devour that man's flesh overnight, praise yeah. God. But hallelujah, that man just stood there praying with his measure of faith, whatever it was, trusting God. Yes. And come morning, the king had him open. Hallelujah. And there stood one man and three hungry lions. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You, He'll bless our measure of faith. Praise God. He'll increase what we have yes. if we'll believe him. Glory Praise God. Yes, Lord. He's not only able, but he's willing. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Not only able, but he's willing. He's willing. Thank you, Lord. David didn't sin before God, mm -hmm. but he'd repent. Amen. And then God would go to battle. Amen. David would sin again. Yes, he would. Yeah. He would repent. Yeah. yeah. And God would go to battle. Yes. Praise you ever God. Felt, I know I felt like David in my life. Oh, yes. Like, Lord, I, I feel guilty you blessed me so much. Yes. Lord, you blessed me in such a way. I feel your anointing, I feel your presence, and I just don't feel worthy. I, I know, I, I, I've come Praise so far God. in life you, where I, I know the man, he gets in the presence of God, and he says, Lord, get that coal from the fire and begin to touch these lips because I am unworthy to be in your presence, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. But praise yes, God. Lord. He says he casts our skins in a sea of forgetfulness, never to be remembered no more. Hallelujah. He's not a God that reminds you of your sin. Praise That's God. Right. When people are reminding your past, they're working. But, oh, hallelujah, you're working for the devil, throwing them darts. But hallelujah, if you'll lift up your shield of faith, Hallelujah, you, you'll grow in the love of God, God where you can bless them, where you can pray for them, and yeah. not be so Thank hurt God. when Amen. people speak against you. That's right. Praise God. The church of God shouldn't be torn up all week because someone said something bad. That's right. The Bible says for us to be good soldiers, Amen. to endure hardness yes. like a good soldier. Praise Hallelujah. God. We shouldn't be <laughs> crying around all week. Because someone in the world said something that hurt our feelings. Praise God. Come on, that's the truth. Bible says endure hardness. Like good soldiers. Yes. When, 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 when they're.